This morning, I will be sharing with us on a subject that has been, if you are keen enough in the spirit to know that there, there is a release of the spirit in the church. And so this morning, I want to talk about walking in the spirit, or if you would, or if you like, live by the spirit. You can call it live by the spirit or walk in the spirit. And I want you to turn with me to the Bible in the book of Galatians chapter 5 from verse 16 to verse 25. I know I have my, our junior church team in the house. For the last like three, for the last one month, there is something that the junior church team has been working on and laboring on. And I know I am very certain that if I uh, if I pointed one of our junior church members to tell us what Galatians 5, uh, 16, uh, all the way to or Galatians 5:22 in, in in particular says, they'll be able to to recite it for us. Praise the name of the Lord. Buana iswasifuwe. Galatians 5, from 16 to 25. This was Paul speaking, and he was speaking to these people and telling them how to walk in the Spirit. And I will read from the King, uh, King James Version. My Bible says, This uh, I say then, walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Verse 17, the Bible says, For the flesh lasteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary, uh, the, the one to the other, so that you cannot do the things that you would. But if you be led of the spirit, you're not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, uh, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, em wrath, strife, seditions, and heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have told you in the time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Verse 22, the Bible says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. Against such there is no law. And the Bible says in verse 24, and they that are Christ's have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. Verse 25, it says, if we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. The NIV version says, if we live in the Spirit, let us also keep in step with the Spirit. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you, Lord, for the hearing of your word this morning. And Lord, we pray that, God, you may open the eyes of our understanding, that, God, we are going to hear what you have for us this very morning. Lord, we surrender our minds and our hearts, dear Lord, and that, God, you may be able to speak to our inner man, O oh God. How I pray that, Spirit of the living God, you may take preeminence in this place this morning. And I pray, Lord, that your word may come forth, Lord, not in the wisdom of man, but God in the power and demonstration of your spirit, O oh God. Have your way this very morning and glorify your name, for in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Church, praise the Lord. I am glad to be here this morning and I, um, I honor the Lord for the opportunity also to be in the house with my family. I want to appreciate my husband in the house and my uh, two sons and, and, and a daughter. I thank God for the privilege of just being in the house of God this morning. Amen. I will share with us about walking in the spirit because it is necessary that we understand as children of God, having received Christ having received forgiveness of sin, having been called the righteous of God, having been justified and sanctified, we have a responsibility to walk in the Spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me introduce this by saying, when we wake up in the morning, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Let me also tell us that every decision and step we take each day is driven by something. 
The reason why you wake up, probably you have a desire for success, or it is because of the sense of responsibility that you have that causes you to wake up in the morning and say, I have to, I am determined that this day will be better than yesterday. Praise the name of the Lord. What is it, what is it that you think about when you wake up in the morning? Let me also submit to us, church, that your day is determined by one of the two driving forces, your flesh or your spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. Your day is determined by either of those. It is either your flesh that is leading you or the spirit that is leading you. Praise the name of the Lord. But the word of God is charging us this morning that we walk in the spirit so that we will not gratify we will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. Praise the name of the Lord. As human beings, when we were born, the Bible reminds us that we were born in sin. Because the first man, Adam, in the Garden of Eden, when he was placed there, he was, not, he was without fault. But the moment sin entered the heart of man, that is where the separation between God and man came in. Praise the name of the Lord. And so our default setting, the most natural thing to do is to allow the flesh to control us. It is in our nature, praise the name of the Lord. But today I want to bring us to a place where we will come from not just obeying the flesh and not living after the flesh, but living in the realm of the spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, the default settings. I believe all of us here, uh, mature adults and the young people in the house, we have phones. And the mobile phone, when you buy it, it has something called default settings. It comes with a package. And when you get that phone and you go and, and insert your SIM card and you power on, there are those things that come on the screen. And then with time, you begin to change the settings. You begin to adjust the time. You begin to do a work. And that is the work of the Holy Spirit in us. Our default setting is the flesh. When you wake up in the morning and you feel your spirit man is telling you to pray, the flesh will tell you, please sleep for five more minutes. How many of us, me being one of them, we set an alarm and we say, I want to wake up at a particular time in the morning to pray. Na alarm ikilia. Woe unto you, kama unakuwa umekelea simu tu wapo karibu. Because utaifinya na uendelea kulala. Praise the name of the Lord. That is our default settings. Praise the name of the Lord. But today the Lord is calling us to live in a higher level. That is in the realm of the spirit. The flesh is loud and demanding. It likes to have its own way. And it sure doesn't give up easily. Paul says the things that I want to do. I do not do. I know I ought to live right. I know I ought to be in the service at a particular time. I know I ought to serve the Lord. I know I ought to pray as a child of God. But the things I desire to do, I do not do. Because the flesh, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. But today I came to announce to us that God is, God is calling us into a level and a realm of walking in the spirit. It may not seem like it, but believe me, child of God, you have control over what controls you. Praise the name of the Lord. You have control over what controls you. You have the remote control of your life. You have a choice. You are the determining factor to whatever level you want to get with God. He has released his spirit. But the question is, are you going to respond to the move of the spirit? Praise the name of the Lord. You are meant to walk in the spirit and walk in a higher level where victory reigns and righteousness rules. You can walk and be guided by the Holy Spirit 24-7. Like Nora has told us, the elders worship 24-7. And as children of God, God has given us a, 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 the Holy Spirit in our lives that we may be able to be guided and led of the Spirit. The Bible says that as many as are led by the Spirit, they are children of God. And you know the question here is, is not whether the Spirit is willing to lead us. It is whether I am willing to be led of the Spirit of God. You have a choice. 
praise the name of the Lord. The Bible is very clear. It says, walk by the Spirit. Live by the Spirit. It is a choice. Every morning when you wake up, you are given very many opportunities. You can jump out of your bed and go and, and switch on the TV and begin watching whatever thing you want to watch. Or you can go back to your closet and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. It is a choice. Walking by the Spirit is a choice. But I want to tell us that God wants us to operate in the realm of the spirit, not this natural world, because that is how we live the life we always dream of. If I ask you what you dream about today, probably we will not even be able to, to, to complete the day, because all of us will come here and tell us, this is what I dream of becoming. This is what I envision my life. Friend, it is possible to get to where you want to, but the choice is yours. You can do it if you allow the leading of the Holy Spirit. Second Corinthians from verse, uh, verse 2. Uh, yes, uh, sorry, Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 7 to 16. You can write it down, and then we'll be able to read it at your own time. And there's a particular portion that says that eye has not seen and ear has not heard Neither has it entered the hearts of men what God has prepared for those who love him. But most of the time we quote it up to that extent. But the next verse, the Bible says that um, I has not seen, but God has revealed them to us by his spirit. For the spirit searches all things. The thief the deep things of God. Praise the name of the Lord. It is true eye has not seen. It is true ear has not heard. It is true it has not entered the heart of men. But let me tell you, those who walk in the spirit, they have the revelation of a better life. Praise the name of the Lord. Because God has revealed those things by his spirit. So do you want to know about your tomorrow? you need to go back to the realm of the spirit. Because it is at that place where we call those things that are not as though they are. We, like Abraham, who believed against all hope, who considered not his age, neither the deadness of Sarah's womb, but the Bible records he believed against all hope. Praise the name of the Lord. And the Bible records that it was credited to him as righteousness. Praise the name of the Lord. That is the realm of the spirit where God wants us to live, where we begin to call those things that are not as though they are. Child of God, if you knew and understood the power that is within you, praise the name of the Lord, you would be living a different kind of lifestyle. Praise the name of the Lord. Abraham believed and it was credited to him as righteousness. All of us at, at some point when, when we, 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 we open our bank accounts, the, the, there's a particular place when we are told, can we, can we have your number or can you give us your number so that any transaction that goes through, you can get a notification through your phone. It does happen, right? And therefore today, God is call, calling us into a place where we can be able to transact in the spirit and it is credited in our hearts that we believed God and we'll be able to experience a harvest of righteousness. Praise the name of the Lord. For verse 12, in the same scripture, 2 Corinthians uh, 7 and verse 12 says, We have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. But the things of the spirit are spiritually designed. They are not carnally de uh, designed. The man the mortal man, the carnal man, the carnal mind cannot understand the things of the spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. That is according to Romans chapter 8 from verse 1 to 14. The Bible begins by saying that therefore now there is no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. For the power, or the, 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 the power of Christ has brought us not under the law. Praise the name of the Lord. Through the spirit of God. Therefore, the spirit of a man searches what is in a man. If we want to know about you, 
we will listen to your spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. For no one can know the man unless the spirit that searches the same man. So in the same way, if we want to know the mind of God, then we have got to allow the spirit of God to lead us into the things of God. Praise the name of the Lord. It also says that we have the mind of Christ in verse 16. And that is how we claim victory by walking in the spirit. Child of God, when you realize that you have the mind of Christ and the same Christ who died and rose again and is seated on the heavenly places far above all principality, then no demon can torment you. Praise the name of the Lord. I said, no, evil can stand your way because you know who you are in God. Praise the name of the Lord. You have the mind of Christ. So today, if you're feeling discouraged, if you're feeling defeated, I want to assure you that there is a better quality of life available to you when you walk in the Spirit. But it does not happen overnight. It is a transformation, praise the name of the Lord, from one degree to another, from one level of obedience to another, praise the name of the Lord. And the question maybe you would ask me, how then do we walk in the spirit? Number one, walk in the spirit by throwing off hindrances, throwing away, casting away hindrances. According to the book of Hebrews chapter number 12 verse 1, the Bible says, therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us, it places the responsibility on you and I. Yes, we are called into a life of righteousness, but it says, let us throw off everything that hinders us and the sin that does easily entangle us and let us run with perseverance the race that is marked for us. It begins by laying aside every sin that easily entangles us. Praise the name of the Lord. And mark the language of this scripture. It says, therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything. That is according to the King James Version. The NIV says, let us lay aside every sin that easily besets us. Now I want to illustrate this by saying, have you ever seen somebody who has come into contact with fire? Mtu ambaye, for one reason or another, maybe he was doing something, ako kwa gari, na gari limeshika moto. Or he was in the kitchen cooking, na gas ikalipuka. Can you try and imagine that person? Or a person, probably you're here in our midst, na kuna wakati ulitembea mahali kwa shamba, na siafu zikaamua kukushambulia. Praise the name of the Lord. Just imagine how you reacted. Praise the name of the Lord. Or some bees decided, praise the name of the Lord. There's, a, there's one time in my house that, that bees decided to come in through our kitchen window. I was not in the house, but my husband and the boys and girl were there. And so I, when I came home, nikapata kuna kio kimevunjika, so they gave me an explanation. There were like 70 bees that came in, and we were trying to deal with them, and that's why kuna yo damage. Praise that. So si kupiga kelele, praise the name of the Lord. But they were safe. So what am I trying to say to us, church? That when you find yourself in such a situation, wakati umevamiwa na nyuki, you don't stand, kujuliza nizitoe, nikimbie, ama nisimame. Praise the name of the Lord. The obvious thing for you to do at that moment is to try and run away as quickly as possible and do the most a common thing that you can do to escape from the wrath of the bees. Praise the name of the Lord. And so it, is it with the ants. Siafu wakikuvamia, even if it means removing your clothes one by one, you will do it. It will not really matter uko wapi, but you will lay them aside because you want to be safe. Praise the name of the Lord. That is exactly what the word of God is saying. If we want to walk in the spirit, there are things that we need to throw off. 
si ile ya oye kubembeleza thambi bwana yesu asifiwe si ile ati oh god help me i i need to get rid of this habit mungu nisaidie hii kiu ya pombe iniondoke no you you don't say that and you're walking inside a bar praise the name of the lord you don't say that and you're in the mid in the middle of the wrong company run away praise the name of the lord the bible says resist the devil and he will flee from you bwana yesu asifiwe so the number one thing that we need to do when we walk in the spirit is that we need to throw away hindrances vikwazo praise the name of the lord mambo ambayo yanatuzuia kukaa katika uwepo wa bwana bwana yesu asifiwe this person who is attacked by the bees or this person who comes into contact with fire or this person who finds themselves under the attack of the ants they understand that the pain or the danger that they are in if they do not act they will come to regret it praise the name of the lord and that is the attitude that we ought to have when we think about sin and we think about holiness praise the name of the lord we will not get to a place and start bargaining but it is okay praise the name of the lord no it is just okay you know god at understand praise the name of the lord i need us to get from that level of saying god at understand he says he is holy so be ye holy there are no two ways about it it's either you are holy or you are holy praise the name of the lord we cannot mix the two we cannot just be on the fence today we are feeling good about church and tomorrow we are feeling good about the world ah ah hakuna watermelon kwa yesu praise the name of the lord you have got to get it right walk in the spirit bwana yesu asifiwe by throwing away the hindrances what is a hindrance a hindrance is anything that is out of line with the word of god bwana yesu asifiwe Let's not get intellectual with the Bible and start arguing. Ah, is it right? Is it wrong? Hakuna mahali Biblia imesema sijui nisifanye hivi. It's not about what what the Bible says or doesn't say. There is a conviction in your spirit and you know it that whatever you are doing is not right in the eyes of God. So stop it. Praise the name of the Lord. any hindrance hindrance is anything that is out of line with the word of god when you know that you're not in line with the word of god you do not need a pastor you do not need a counselor you do not need somebody to point it out you can feel it within you and you know that you know that you have stepped out of line and come back to the grace of god amen anything that is out of line with the word of god is a hindrance and it is uh, the many things that are listed in galatians 5:19 anger rage bad feelings sexual immorality impurity slander foul mouth even in colossians 3:5 and 6 shameful utterances some of us believers mungu aturumie but when we begin to talk even the devil trembles bwana yesu asifiwe because the words that come out of our mouths hi bwana yesu asifiwe we people will look at us and wonder is it the same person who was carrying a bible in church on sunday when we are in the in the marketplace when when we are in our offices when we are in our neighborhood when we are hanging around with our friends what is it that we say what comes out of our mouth because the bible says it i think in matthew matthew 12:34 if i'm not if i'm right that out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks and so if you want to walk in the spirit begin to feed on the word of god so that whatever comes out of you praise the name of the lord we 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 are in a hbc called dunamis and yesterday we had a meeting and as we were sharing even the children in our midst were sharing with us and they they when when it got to their turn when they are saying my week was okay the lord has sustained me those are children but they know praise the name of the lord it is because they have decided to put to 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 allow the word of god to train them and so once we come into a meeting they know they will not look at their parents for them to signal to them what to say they already know what to say praise the name of the lord hallelujah so we are being called to work against these works of the flesh that are listed witchcraft idolatry hatred envy 
murder, drunkenness. Praise the name of the Lord. Some of us, we are born again, yes, but we are living in bondage. I pray this afternoon that may there be a release in the spirit to deliver and to liberate us from the habits that so easily beset us that we may walk in the spirit. Amen. And then how can we throw away these hindrances? It is by keeping our eyes on Jesus. Hebrews 12 and verse 2, the Bible says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Praise the name of the Lord. We'll not be able to throw away our hindrances. We'll not be able to say no to sin if our focus is on our flesh. If you want to conquer the flesh, look to the source of life. Who is Jesus? Bonaiso asifiwe. Get rid of those things that are, so, uh, are slowing you down and walk in the spirit. Child of God, let me tell you this, that the natural world has to become small in your heart and in your mind while the things of God become bigger and bigger. It's like the lens in a camera. When you want to take a photo and you want a clear photo, you make sure you zoom so that you can be able to get a clear picture. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is the way we, that, that, that's how we are going to get rid of these hindrances. Let our focus, let's magnify the things of God in our lives. When we magnify the word of God in this day and age, the language used is ongeza volume. Sindio? Volume equals our, praise the name of the Lord. I say to us, let us ongeza volume of the word of God in our lives. And as we do that, the word of God will begin to shape us into where God wants us to be. Praise the name of the Lord. Allow the natural word to become small in your heart and in your mind. And the things of God to become bigger. Casting down every high thing and every imagination that rises against the knowledge of God in your life. Praise the name of the Lord. Allow the Holy Spirit to guide you and help you not only to separate yourself from the world, but to desire the things of God more than the things of the world. Only the Holy Spirit can help us to desire the things of God. Because whom will he? Una desire mambo ya kimwili. The moment you sit in front of a TV set and you set your eyes on pornography, the body will tell you it's okay. It will encourage you to keep on watching on that internet site when you are clicking those ads that are coming and telling you, check, check, click to see what you will get. Praise the name of the Lord. You have a responsibility to submit your body to the spirit of God and tell yourself, body, you have got to hear the word of God. My body, you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. You have got to submit to the spirit of God. I will not be controlled by my body, but I'll be controlled by the spirit of God in me. Praise the name of the Lord. Number two thing when we are walking in the spirit is that we need to sow in the spirit. Galatians 6 and verse 8, the Bible says, He who sows to the Spirit will of the Spirit reap everlasting life. He who sows to the Spirit. The Bible is very clear on principles. And even the heathen, the people that do not know God, if by any chance they apply the wisdom and the principles in the Bible, somehow they succeed. But believe us, where are we? Yes, we have the Bible. We are walking with the Bible day in, day out. But let me tell us, friends, this word of God is of no benefit as long as it remains in between the top cover and the back page. We need to take the word of God literally and put it in our hearts and begin to declare what it says. If it says I am more than a conqueror, then I have got to conquer the works of the flesh. I have got to live by the Spirit because that is what the Word of God says. I have to believe it. I have to keep on confessing it. It is not a one-day affair. It is something that you walk into day by day by allowing the Spirit of God in your life. When you sow to the Spirit, you will reap to the Spirit. A man's harvest in life will depend entirely on what he sows. It's a principle. When you sow to the Spirit you will reap a harvest of righteousness. When you sow to the flesh, we will be coming to the service. And as we are being told by the worship team to lift up our voices, the songs that are ringing in your mind, ni reggae, praise the name of the Lord, because that is where you have been. 
Bonus. I know I'm not going to get very many amens today, but I bless the Lord because this is the truth of the word. Amen? amen. If you sow to the Spirit, you will reap to the Spirit. What you constantly feed will come out. You will not need to tell us where you have been. Ha. We will just look at you and know. Bonus was if you were. Yes, we may, young people, tonight end at Dunda, Saturday night. And Sunday morning we are here clapping our hands. Praise the name of the Lord. We will know. Praise the name of the Lord. And no one has told us, but the Spirit will reveal. Praise the name of the Lord. Walk by the Spirit. Walk by the Spirit. So to the Spirit that you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. Meaning, if you want to walk in the Spirit, you cannot sow your time in the world. You cannot sow your time in the world. You have got to sow to the spirit to reap the harvest of a blessed, a fulfilled life lacking nothing. The word of God says that he has given unto us all that pertains to life and godliness. It is within our disposal. But the question is, are we walking in it? It's like being taken to a wedding banquet. All of us here have been to a wedding. And kuna kuanga na kitu inaitu a buffet. And in the buffet, different kinds of delicacies have been prepared. But let me tell you, whether you are an invited guest in a wedding or you're part of the bridal team sitting on the high table, if you do not serve that food in your plate, and you don't make an effort of putting, uh, taking a spoon and putting that food in your mouth, no matter how wonderful that food is, it will not benefit you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So to the spirit, you will reap in the spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. So to the spirit with your time. You grow by feeding on the word of God, by fellowshipping with God, so that natural voices will, over, will not overwhelm the spirit. There are natural voices in us. The world, the flesh in us speaks, but the spirit also speaks. So it's us to decide Will you raise the volume of the spirit or will you raise the volume of the flesh? If you raise the volume of the flesh, then you will act like the flesh. You will behave in the flesh. You will respond in the flesh. Yesterday, the preacher of the word was telling us how to respond to offenses. You have a choice to be offended or not offended. You, yes, the offense will come. Utakwazwa. Praise the name of the Lord. You will not avoid it. But how you respond matters. Are you going to respond to every offense that comes your way? Are you going to corrode your spirit by allowing grudges, bitterness, and hatred to be harbored in your spirit? So to the spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. Number three, walk in the spirit by presenting your body as a living sacrifice. And I can see our time is gone, but I want to believe that I'll be able to finish and then we'll be able to pray together in the name of the Lord. Walk in the spirit by presenting your body as a living sacrifice. The Bible says in Romans 12, verse 1 to 2, and that's the same scripture our reverend was sharing last Sunday, that we, uh, brethren, by the mercies of God, I beseech you that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice. And it goes on to say that, be ye not conformed to the world, but be transformed in the renewing of your mind. Praise the name of the Lord. Transformation occurs in the spirit man. Transformation occurs in the inner man. When transformation has occurred, then we will see it on the outside by the way you behave. Praise the name of the Lord. Tutasema kweli umekombolewa. We can see it from the outside. Praise the name of the Lord. Because it begins to manifest. We do this by laying aside the things of the world. Being willing to give up activities, give up friends or habits that do not match God's best for our lives. Friends, living, uh, presenting ourselves as a living sacrifice means walking away from anything that is not pleasing to the Lord, no matter how good it appears. Praise the name of the Lord. No matter how many promises you get, no matter how lucrative the business may be, if it does not please the Lord, please walk away from it. Praise the name of the Lord. By also obeying the righteousness, not the flesh. 
Because the Bible says in 1 John 3, 9 and 10, that whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. For his seed, the seed of God, remains in him. We cannot bear the seed of God and still have the seed of sin at the same time. One has got to go. Praise the name of the Lord. One that is born of God does not commit sin. For his seed, the seed of God, remains in him. And he cannot sin because he is born of God. And verse 10 says, in this, the children of God are manifest. <laughs> and the children of the devil, whosoever does not do according to the will of God, is not of God. In this, we have heard that the seed of God is in us. And because the seed of God is in us, the children of God will manifest. Let me ask you today, what are you manifesting? Praise the name of the Lord. What are you manifesting? What do people see in you? Where, whether you are here in, on Sunday, whether you are in your office, whether in your, in your family, with your family, what are you manifesting? Remember, he who is born of God cannot sin because the seed of God remains in him. Praise the name of the Lord. It is making a daily decision to put on the spirit each day the same way you would put on a coat. Yani, like every day when you wake up, you know for sure that you cannot walk out of your house naked. You have to clothe yourself. It is the same way that we need to realize that we need to embrace the power of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Amen? I don't want to stop at that point. I know I've not finished, but I know God willing and God giving us an opportunity, we'll be able to go through this teaching because it is important. I do not want to rush to finish but I want us, I, I pray that God will help us to grasp the truth. Because when we get to the level of the spirit, church, our lives will be different. If there were men recorded in the Bible that told the son to stop for them to gain victory and God granted their desires, how much more we who have received the spirit of God my God, we will be able to call those things that are not. You will be walking and declaring things and th until people start to think that you're mad. But you know, faith to the world is foolishness. Now I want to get to that level where I am walking in the spirit. When I get to a place, the atmosphere changes because of the kingdom that I carry. I want to walk into my office and things begin to be aligned in my favor because I carry a kingdom of heaven. I am not a citizen of this world. The Bible says I am seated in the heavenly places with Christ. So whatsoever I do on earth, I am God's agent of change on earth. The things that I want to see, I will see them because I have the spirit of God in me. Let us stand on our feet.